I know if I want to, there's restaurants right up there I can go eat, and I don't have to show you my ID to eat. I can drive up and down this street, and I don't have to show. Property, you do have to show your ID. I can drive up and down this street. How come you don't ask anybody else for their ID? Say whatever you want. How come, to, but how come that you is don't? Law. How come you don't ask anybody else the ID? Show I'm me the law. To, I'm not here to debate this. Nah, right, it's fine. I'm totally willing to do this in a court of law. That's fine. Completely. That's what it's for. There's no gate here saying you can't trespass. There's no gate here saying you can't enter, that you need permission to enter. It's totally open to that's the public. That's why they have courts of law to, to argue yeah, that. That's right. Lady's flipping you off, man. What'd you do? You upset her? That's not, a, that's not my problem. <laughs> why is she flipping you off? Not flipping me off. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's flipping you off. I'm a nice guy. Whatever you want. To. <laughs> I'm a nice guy. Okay, sir, at this point, I'm going to ask you to leave this property. Okay, I'm, I'm not leaving. All right. Go ahead and place him under arrest. All right, sir, you are under arrest for criminal trespass. Stop. Please put your hands on the back. Okay, mind if I uh, put my wallet away? My license away? Go ahead and put it up. I did. Right. It's like 90 degrees in here. Hey, can you roll down the window a little bit? It's really hot in here. I can't breathe. Can you please attach that information to me? <sighs> Thank you. It's so hot, I can't breathe in here. Oh, yeah, it is kind of warm. If we ask you to leave, you won't leave. Well, I haven't been trespassed on the property, and nobody from the school has asked me to leave. So well, I haven't been trespassed. We well, asked you to leave. Well, just because you asked me to leave doesn't mean I'm criminally trespassed. You just asked me if I would leave. No, you did. I asked you to leave. Nobody from the school asked me to leave. Yeah, you, you asked me to leave, but yeah. you're a police officer. You're not yes, somebody sir. from the school. I'm authorized to ask you to leave. And if you don't leave, yeah, but you you're were trespassing. asking me to leave. You weren't telling me you were going to trespass me if I didn't leave. You just asked me to leave, and I said no. That's refusing to leave that's, the property. That's refusing to leave the property. Uh, that's trespassing. Yeah. Uh, we just deal with it in court. The reason I'm standing here instead of right over there, because I already talked to my attorney. So All I, you had to do, well, you know, this is not the place to discuss it, like you said. Right. You know, in Texas, there's 13,000 kids waiting to be adopted in foster care. 13,000 of them. There's 30,000 in foster care, but 13,000 are waiting to be adopted. But nobody wants them because they're not babies. Mr. Willis? Yes, sir. I talked to my supervisor, and he said that in the past, they've allowed people who wanted to speak their mind or whatever to go down a block uh -huh. to Floyd, and they can protest over there do whatever right okay mm -hmm. now at this point I'm gonna ask you do you want to do that or are you not gonna do it um, well I don't want to do that now mm -hmm. no sir okay. respectfully no. okay no that's fine yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, I understand so I'm, I'm not mad at you by the well, way there's nothing so, to be mad about yeah you know, yeah. you have, you're doing what you believe is right. I'm doing what I I'm doing my job. Right. That's right. as far as it goes. Yeah. I understand. I understand. I think I'll be able to show that based on my First Amendment rights, based on the material that I was handing it has out. Nothing to do with First Amendment rights. Yeah, because it's based on the material I was handing out. If I was handing out, you know something about a, a football team or anything like that I wouldn't have gotten in trouble nobody would have cared but because it's about abortion yeah number one cause of death in Texas well sir I respect what you do I really do but you have to understand that that there are laws and, and mm -hmm. you have to follow them yeah you know yeah there are laws but like when 60,000 babies are dead every year and nobody cries out for them. Well, you're you know? right. You're right. I mean, and they, that's an unheard, it's an unheard cry. Yeah. I understand what you're, what you're doing. Yeah. 
and I respect you for that. But you have to understand that I have a job to do. No, I understand. Okay? Yeah. Guess what? They let me go. Who would have guessed? I actually spent 10 minutes in the back of a police car and about 30 minutes with handcuffs on. And I found out that uh, they really are not designed for comfort. But uh, I don't know how many people saw what, what happened. But um, basically the cops are trying to bully me away. Um, when they first said, hey, you know, you have to leave. And will you leave? I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm not going to leave. And they said, okay, you're under arrest. And I thought, how could they arrest me? You know, like, this is ridiculous. I haven't even been trespassed. And, uh, but what he explained was, is him asking me to leave is being trespassed. So anyway, they handcuffed me, put me in the car. And I'm thinking, my lawyer's wrong? Jordan, you're wrong? Like, huh, I'm actually going to... I'm, I'm gonna go to jail, you know, and then uh, and then uh, I told him I said hey, I can't breathe back here. It's too hot in the car and so they're nice enough to let me out and But then the one officer um, Gonzalez who's halfway decent guy said uh, Or he was on the phone for a long time So I knew he was talking to the, the district attorney or the attorney for for Richardson and I thought, huh, okay, that's awesome. They're going to let me go for sure. Um, they're going to see that my lawyer, Jordan, was right after all, and they can't arrest me. And uh, so then they called the paddy wagon, and I thought, oh, my gosh, I, I am going to jail. I'm thinking, oh, well, you know, I can, I can preach to him in jail for a while. And then... Uh, and then he came up and said, hey, the school's willing. If you go way over there in the corner, they'll let you stand on their property way over in the corner. Um, and I, we'll give you that as an option. Either go to jail or that's your option. And I was like, I'm not going to jail no matter what now. Because they don't, they don't care about me. You know, they, they might as well just take me to jail, you know. So I know they're not taking me to jail now. So I said, no, I'll stay here. I'm not going over there. So I said, okay. And then they went through all my backpack. They went through inventory and everything, searched everything, and uh, which I should have told them, you know, I don't consent to any searches. Um, but then, uh, but then he came back and gave me that offer one more time, and I said, no, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm going to stay here. And so they came back and said, okay, here's the deal. We'll just give you a trespass warning, and you can go, but just don't come back here. And I'm like all right you know we can take this trespass warrant and we can use this as evidence that they're stifling free speech rights on public access ways and common open areas like sidewalks you know um so anyway i got what i wanted and uh i didn't want to sit in the cop car i didn't want what i call tobying it i didn't want to toby it you know where you sit in the cop car for a while until they punish you long enough make you feel you know like a dirt dork and th and then they let you go right but it's like haha we got you in our car you're captured so anyway they they let me go and uh it was all good meanwhile i got to tell them about all the foster kids in uh texas the state of texas that uh, are waiting to be adopted Thirteen thousand kids waiting to be adopted in texas and nobody wants them because they're not babies and i got to talk to them about abortion and uh so anyway it went really well and I'm not going to jail tonight. But the funny thing was, uh, Toby's wife called my wife and said, hey, Todd just got arrested. And she said, well, he's going to have to preach in jail for a while because I'm um, leading a chair practice. Which, uh, I love my wife, you know. Nothing stresses her out. Um, unless you talk bad about me to her, and that stresses her out. But other than that, you know, me sitting in jail, she's, she knows God's there. And she knows it'll be awesome for me um now if she was going to jail that would bother her but she's she's fine with me going to jail you know and when i mean going to jail i don't mean like for six months or for like you know face act or anything like that i mean just like getting a ride downtown getting booked and going to jail so anyway but it's all good we're good um thanks for the prayers i know a lot of people saw it because i facebook lived it and uh 
but I think when the cops came, I didn't hit save. I wanted it to keep running so people could see it. So I know that didn't get saved. So I'm sorry that didn't get saved. I know you all probably would have enjoyed watching me get arrested. Um, but I have it on GoPro, all right? But you can't see my facial expressions, you know, like, you know, stuff like that. Like, you're arresting me? Uh, I need to see what we're going to do with this trespass warrant because I believe I was unjustly trespassed only because of the material that I was handing out. And it's constitutionally protected material, and I should be able to hand out that material. And I wasn't breaking any laws, you know. I didn't, I didn't, uh, there's no reason for them to trespass me, you know. So, anyway, it's all good. I get to sleep in my bed tonight, and, uh, you know, get to, uh, get to hold my wife. So, anyway, love you guys. God bless, and, uh. Pray, pray for Richardson as uh, we continually rock it.